Hello, I'm James Harvey, the Professor of Music Theory at the College of Southern Nevada with 5-Minute Music Theory. We'll start the timer and talk in this video about something that's similar to voice crossing, but not the same. It's a little bit more complicated, and it's something called voice overlap. And some theory texts cover this, some don't, and I am going to cover this. So we're just going to take a treble clef staff to show this as an example. And I'm going to show two voices here like this. I don't even care what the chord is, that this is just about how the voices move. So these notes have presented sort of an invisible boundary to the next chord. And what we need to try to avoid is crossing over that boundary in successive chords or in adjacent chords, I guess I should say. Here's an example of what could be considered voice overlap like this. So what's happening is the alto is overlapping the soprano and that's happening here so the soprano was an A and that invisible boundary goes into the next chord and what uh, the reason this is an error is the alto is actually infringing upon the territory of the soprano by overlapping it in the next chord and that can happen going up or going down in these uh, adjacent voices and you only have to worry about consecutive chords it's not like as soon as we write the, that F and the A, the voices can't overlap ever. It's only in consecutive chords back to back that we have to worry about this. And it's those, those uh, invisible boundaries. Now, let me show you an example of the soprano crossing over. Let's just do something like this. So the soprano is committing the sin of voice overlap here from the A to the E because it's overlapping that invisible boundary that was presented by the alto in the previous chord. Now that boundary can be met, it just cannot be crossed. So let me show you an example of how it can be met. This is totally okay. You can go up to the boundary, you just can't pass that boundary. So that A is not considered infringing upon the territory of the soprano. It's only if you cross over that boundary that it's considered voice overlap. This can be a little bit tricky, and it's, um, it's a little bit tricky, especially at the beginning stages of learning music theory, to avoid this error. Just make sure you're really careful not to overlap those voices. Give each one of their voices, each one of your voices, its own individual space, and then uh, you'll get better grades on your music theory assignments. Thank you.